If you are highly detailed, unlike me, you may be wondering what this weird sound is. Two, one, zero. Did you hear a rrrp sound during the pre-engine ignition? Let's play that again. Two, one, zero. Well, let's launch an investigation on why on another episode of Vintage Space. Hello, this is Chad from Vintage Space, where we figure out why weird things are the way they were in the vintage times of spaceflight, including the Titan II's engine startup sequence. First, let's take a look at the engine itself. Each engine consisted of a fuel and oxidizer pump, a gearbox, and two balanced turbine wheels. These turbines were spun by a powerful source of hot gas created by the starter cartridge. The LR87 engines were started by a 28 volt power source supplied to the starter cartridge through the engine electrical control system. The starter cartridge propellants ignited, producing hot gases that were directed under high pressure through an inlet nozzle to the turbo pump turbine. The starter cartridge was the point of origin for what makes this whirp sound. It burned for only one second but it was responsible for the famous roar that we all know and love. The force of these hot gases was directed under high pressure through an inlet nozzle to the turbo pump turbine, which accelerated very rapidly. This in turn drove the fuel and oxidizer pumps that delivered the propellants through the discharge lines to the thrust chamber valves. The enhanced hypergolic fuel flow was then sent to the combustion chamber where it was ignited to its chemical reaction, also known as thrust. The helium heat exchanger was installed on the turbine of the turbo pump assembly of engine subassembly number two. It used hot gases exhausted from the turbine to raise the temperature and expanded the helium used to pressurize the propellant tanks. The helium flowed from the storage spheres in the stage one liquid oxygen tanks to the heat exchanger circulated through a coil of tubing and flowed back to pressurize both propellant tanks of stage one. The hot gases were exhausted from the heat exchanger through twin exhaust ducts and added approximately 600 pounds more thrust to the overall engine thrust. These two gas exhaust cones are seen here in this picture located in the middle of the two LR87 thrust chamber nozzles. So a bonus discovery for those who thought these were mini rocket engines. Now, I got a little bit of a confession to make. My favorite vintage rocket is actually the Titan II. And you'll be seeing a future video outlining why that is. Now you know a bit more on what a turbo pump is and why it's used on some rockets. If you found this engine to be fascinating, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button so that people who search for cool things about historic rockets can find a rare video like this. I am your host Chad, and I will see you out on the launch pad. <laughs>